My mom taught me to sew when I was 10 years old. The lesson that stuck in my mind all these years is so press, so press. I can still hear her say those words today. The tool that I use the most often when pressing is June Taylor's Taylor Board. There are five pressing positions and the board balances in each position. It's a terrific design. Now I'll show you how to simply fit the seam to the pressing shape and then press. June Taylor first appeared on Sewing with Nancy in the early 1980s. She taught me the ins and outs of working with this tool. Now I'd like to share them with you. The first tip is to use the flat, all-purpose pressing surface for general pressing. It's conveniently shaped and designed about the size of the sole plate of an iron. I like to press a seam in two steps, pressing it flat and then pressing it open. This all-purpose shape works perfectly for this pressing step. If you've sewn a curved seam, gentle or pronounced, the next step is to fit the seam to the shape of the tailor board. Position the board so that it resembles a modern art chair. The board perfectly balances in this position. Notice the two curves. There's a gentle curve and then a very pronounced curve. I like to use the gentle curve for armholes, sleeves, and I'm going to show you how you use it to shape a sleeve. I place my sleeve over before setting it into the armhole and then steam. And then the shape of the board will allow the sleeve to have this very nice shape. If you're working with a very pronounced curve, I like to use this for children's wear or small pattern pieces. This is a children's Peter Pan collar. I can simply press over this area very easily to get that seam pressed open. It would be difficult to do without that shape. Princess style seams are ideal candidates to receive the perfect press with the tailor board. We're going to be working with this long outer shape. We're going to be pressing a seam, a curved seam over a slightly curved pressing shape. When working with the princess style seams, I simply just place the seam over the board. The beauty of this particular pressing surface is that the surface is smaller than the width of the seam allowances so that the edges will not be pressed and make an imprint on the right side. This is ideal to get the, the curve pressed perfectly. So just meet the curve to the shape of the board and press. Pressing collars, cuffs, and vent points on a flat surface is counterproductive. Pressing over comparable shape is ideal. Turn the tailor board on the largest pressing surface, placing that on your board or your ironing board. The exposed pressing surface is now a point presser. For the fourth tip, when you've sewn a corner, always press over a point presser, allowing you to press all the way to each corner. Here's a small cuff. Placing the cuff over the point presser, I'm able to press right to the point without any issues at all. You can find many areas where you'll be working with this type of point presser. Then there are very sharp points like collars. If the collar has extremely sharp areas, there's another pressing surface for you. The tailor board balances on the angled ends. The remaining pressing options are extremely sharp points. You'll be amazed at how often you'll use these specialty pressing surfaces. When pressing a collar, I just simply place the collar over the point. You can position it on the board a variety of ways. It's been sanded and honed down just to a perfect size and shape of a collar point. Then there's a bonus. Included with the tailor board is a pressing pad set. There are three pressing pads that fit over the wooden shape. They're custom made to fit the shape. Like an ironing board, they're padded. When working with gabardines, wools, fabrics that have nap, it's nice to press over a surface. You'll find that the three shapes easily go on and off. 
covering all five pressing shapes. Every time I use the Taylor board, I think of my two sewing mentors, my mom and June Taylor. When you use the Taylor board, I know you'll appreciate all the pressing options that June designed into the board and also will remember my mom's favorite sewing mantra, so press, so press. Order your Taylor board and pad set today. It's a Nancy's Notions exclusive.